Hello everybody, I uh, just wanted to make a short video about some experience of, I've had with um, Sony's uh, Movie Studio Platinum 13 which is the, uh, the video editing package that I use to make my videos. Recently um, I've uh, gone through a couple of different uh, video cards uh, because I found a, a problem with uh, Movie Studio and it's uh, GPU hardware accelerated uh, video rendering. Uh, because one of the things that attracted me to this uh, this particular software is it can utilize the GPU in your video card to uh, speed up your video rendering. Using all the resources in your PC is always a good idea, which is uh, what I was um, using up until the point where I um, switched to having dual monitors uh, and I needed to uh, switch out my um, current video card for a new one. So I'd gone from a, a GTX uh, 550 Ti, which is this one here, um, which is based on the Fermi chipset, and I upgraded to uh, this one here, which is a GTX 750 Ti, which is based on the Kepler chipset. Now, one thing I didn't realize is um, Sony Movie Studio only supports uh, GPU rendering up to the Fermi chip, the Fermi chipset. So anything beyond the Fermi chipset um, is completely not supported when it comes to GPU rendering. Um, even though you might be um, seeing this option here, which is the uh, the CUDA uh, and OpenCL rendering options um, in the uh, the rendering profile settings and indeed under the system tab you can also uh, click the check GPU and it says CUDA is available but uh, even on the um, unsupported cards this still shows up so it gives you no indication at all that the uh, GPU rendering is effectively uh, disabled and the only way you're really going to notice is when um, things just take longer to render um, there's no there's no errors, there's no warnings or anything that um, uh, GPU um, is working or not working. So this is the original card that I used with Movie Studio when I first bought it. This is a GTX uh, 550 Ti. Um, it's based on the Fermi hardware. Um, so this card was working um, just fine for me when I first, uh, first got it all set up. Um, and I was rendering about 1920 frames in 60 seconds on the particular test clip that I was using which was um, uh, seemed fine to me. Uh, now I actually have to upgrade this card because uh, I just switched over to a dual screen setup two identical HD screens uh, I wanted to run them both using DVI and as you can see I've got one DVI, one analog VGA and a HDMI so I wanted to swap this out for a, um, a card that had two DVIs on it. So what I did was to swap this card with this one. This is a GTX 750 Ti which is based on the Kepler chipset. Um, as you can see it's got the two um, DVIs. Now um, as this um, as it turns out based on the Kepler chipset this meant that the GPU rendering was now effectively totally disabled in Movie Studio so my uh, rendering speed uh, with the same codec went down to about 769 frames in that 60 seconds a massive massive drop um, and I really noticed it um, and that's what prompted me to, uh, to really start investigating this so I have now just replaced this card with another new one. This is um, one that I've uh, just bought off eBay. Um, I picked this up for about £55 um, in the UK, uh, which wasn't too bad. This is a GTX 570, um, which as you can see is a far more substantial card. Um, but this again is based on the Fermi chipset so it is fully supported by uh, Movie Studio and renders using the GPU just fine which is which is perfect. Um, the 
frame frame rate I'm getting out of this one is um, 2630 frames rendered in that 60 seconds so the same clip between all three cards so this one is significantly faster than uh, both my original card obviously way faster than the uh, the 750 Ti uh, which was using previous to this one because it wasn't using the GPU now obviously one thing you have to watch out for if you if you're upgrading to a card th of this size you have to watch out for your power supply I did actually have to upgrade mine because um, it wasn't going to be big enough for this card so uh, I've just had to move up to a, a 750 watt power supply so that's uh, something to remember if you end up going through the same process that I have now this is the uh, section under the movie studio website where it uh, um, lists the supported GPUs and it says here um, NVIDIA um, requires a CUDA enabled card, it gives you a driver revision that um, you need to be beyond for it to be supported. Um, GeForce GPUs, GTX 400 series or higher, um, and the GT 200 series or higher with a slightly different driver. Um, and it also says to, it recommends using Quadro cards, which is fair enough. But it also says here NVIDIA um, recommends NVIDIA Quadro for professional applications and recommends the use of the latest boards based on the Fermi architecture. For one, I don't think that's particularly clear saying that anything beyond Fermi is completely disabled in terms of GPU rendering. Um, also, I don't think um, the, there is many people that uh, actually even aware what uh, what type of architecture their video card is whether it's Fermi, Kepler, um, Tesla um, or Maxwell I mean there's there's people aren't that geeky to know this this kind of thing and I think there should be a, a proper list of cards here which are and aren't supported when it comes to using the GPU so thankfully um, the uh, movie studio forums is quite uh, quite a nice friendly place to be um, after reading a few threads on there it, came, it became quite clear what the uh, what the original problem was that I ended up swapping my my existing uh, Fermi based card to, for a, um, a Kepler based one my GPU rendering stopped and of course I lost all my uh, or some of my performance when it came to um, came to rendering so now I've moved back to the um, the Fermi based chipset with the GTX uh, 570 um, it's now working um, faster than it was before and I also have scope as well to uh, to upgrade further as you can see here on the wiki page for the uh, GeForce uh, 500 series um, I went from the, uh, the 550 Ti um, I've just jumped to the uh, 570 uh, and then there's another two cards. The 580 is the next uh, step up. The 590 is essentially a, uh, a, a dual version of the 580. So uh, to summarize all that, if you want to retain the GPU rendering uh, using uh, Movie Studio Platinum 13 um, and also previous versions as well, you must stick with the Fermi based chipsets. Uh, for the NVIDIA cards so that's the all the 500 series and the 400 series as well obviously um, you, you might as well go with the a top end GTX uh, 570, 580, 590 possibly because uh, these are actually quite reasonably priced on um, second hand at the moment anyway so uh, because for, for gaming purposes uh, people have moved on to the uh, the Kepler and the, the Maxwell chipsets anyway so the, the older Fermi based cards um, seem to be quite reasonably priced uh, which is which is perfect if you uh, don't play games right I think I've said my piece now um, thanks for watching I hope you found this useful and I'll see you on the next video